Hi. On Sunday, May 24th, I will be part of a team that will plant a brand new community of faith within the United Church of Canada. This congregation will be 100% on the internet in French, and it will be called Église Saint-Claire. One of the questions we, you, you might wonder is, why? Why do you want to start a new community of faith? This is a time of pandemic. Uh, we are entering a time of recession. Our attendance are already in decline. Uh, we have less members. Uh, we are closed congregation. We're selling buildings. Why? Well, this is a fair question. I have wondered myself, why am I embarking in this uh, crazy project? Um, I guess it is because during the last few m months now, uh, we have been worshiping on Zoom, on Facebook Live, because we did not have the choice. And one of the things we notice, many, many people notice, is new people are attending, or people we haven't seen in quite a while. And... The question is, what will happen when we will go back to our buildings? Will we say, oh, nice to have met you, and now, bye bye What about those who cannot come because of mobility issues that are now able to participate? What about those who don't have access to a United Church uh, congregation in a reasonable driving distance? What about the struggle to come on Sunday morning at 10.30 for some? I remember once a mother told me, say, to be here with my three kids on time is almost a miracle each week. <laughs> Our congregational model uh, we have right now, we enter it from the 1920th century, which means one, a church, ought to be in a building where all are coming on the same day at the same time to listen a minister who has all the answers. Society has changed and pandemic, this current pandemic has just speed up the process, not created. Uh, for example, it's like uh, shopping. People have already started to move from the mall to Amazon. Now it's just the current context made it a little more common, I would say. Now many people like me believe that the church model that we have is not truly adapted to the lifestyle of our 21st century. And the great news is do we have tools at our disposal to change this. Internet, social media, and all of this uh, gave us great possibility. And one of the greatest uh, benefit is that geography is not an issue anymore. If people can talk to friends or family member across Canada, the church should do the same. With the church, a congregation, a community of faith, online we offer the possibility for everyone to attend you may live in a remote location you might be a member of the lgbtq2 plus community you don't have necessarily a safe place in your area you co you can go to an online church and belong also this model can allow uh, more interaction during worship uh, we cre create a safe space where the people can share wisdom and experience and people can bring um, their down, their question to the conversation and through this interaction we can try to find answers and I said answers in the plural answer that will be relevant to someone's context I'm not saying that I have found the perfect model I'm not saying that all should do like I do. It's just that the beginning in this beginning of the 21st century, I think the one-size-fits-all model of church does not work anymore. 
we should be able to offer many models, many options to, to broader horizon, uh, to discover new ways to be today's church for today's people. So the question, why beginning a community of faith now? Yes, the best answer I can provide you is why not? Why not now? Thank you for being there. If you have an opportunity, visit Facebook page of Italy Saint La. If you know people who speak French or are bilingual and might be interested, please share this news with people. And I hope I will we will see each other very soon. Bye bye.